Thousands of folks lacing up their sneakers, spending this St. Patrick's Day pounding the pavement. It was for the annual Publix Marathon. As CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm found out, the race drew a record number of wheelchair teams. Shout out to all of my teams. Before the start of the marathon, half marathon and 5K, the wheelchair teams line up at the starting line. For brothers Brent and Kyle Pease, this has been seven years in the making. The first time it was just the two of us jumping through barriers and trying to get to the start line by ourselves. And now we've got over 200 volunteers helping pull this whole thing together for us. So this is the fifth time that you've done the race? Uh, I, like I said, there's so many I've done it. I think I've lost count. Curtis Ward tells me he he was at work at his movie theater job when he first met Brent. And he was like, hey, we're doing, uh, we've been doing these um, races and triathlons and stuff. You want to come out and try it? And I said, okay. Years later, he's still at it, thanks to the Kyle Pease Foundation. Run <laughs> After the wheelchair teams got started, it was the runner's turn. Thousands competing not just against each other, but against themselves. We feel like we're part of the Atlanta running community now. Um, you know, people recognize the group. People want to reach out to us and be a part of it and volunteer. How was it? It was amazing. It's always good to be out here with all my friends. It was cool. I had fun. Time to train for the next race. In Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News. Glad